Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The markets are showing us some indecisive trading and we're kind of concentrating on why reading candlestick charts makes it much more evident of which way prices are moving. Right now, we can see that the Dow has pulled back right here to the T-line and the 200-day moving average after failing at the 50-day moving average. So when we're reading candlestick charts, we have a much more clear analysis of which way prices are heading or the which way the markets are heading. One, we have it a doji. Two, the stochastics are kind of moving sideways. So the doji rule makes us relatively simple for us to analyze what type of pattern setups are, are occurring. The doji rule says it's going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji. If they start trading positive tomorrow, we still have the prospect of a J-hook pattern creating a bobble breakout, which tells us wave three would be starting. If it opens lower, it tells us the failure here at the 50 is pretty much indicating we're still in wave one, wave two, wave three of this bearish J-hook pattern. So this is what makes it uh, very easy when you're reading candlestick charts on identifying which way investor sentiment is moving and being able to re react to it very quickly. Same thing over here on the uh, NASDAQ. Which way is the uh, index or which way is the uh, indication telling us we're going? Absolutely no idea. We could be heading up, we could be heading down, or we could be heading sideways. So why is this important? Because if you're trading, you obviously want to be trading in or trading stocks that are moving with the market. Less probabilities of if you're in an uptrend, downtrending stocks are going to be working as well. So this allows us to make a much better assessment of what we want to do with our portfolio. Now, there are patterns that tell us what's exactly happening, no matter what the market is doing. We recommended ADGI a few days back somewhere in here because we could see the fry pan bottom which is one of your major candlestick patterns and fry pan bottom patterns have three major benefits one it gives you a high probability of which direction you're moving secondly the magnitude of the move especially if they start breaking out where the pattern began is going to be excessive and three as you can see they will the pattern, because it is a buildup of investor sentiment, is going to disregard what the overall market trend is doing. This has been building up for a while, no matter what the market was doing. Other patterns, like the classic pattern, is the combination of a fry pan bottom. We recommended BLND because not only did we have a fry pan bottom, but notice where it pulled back right to the 50 doing a J-hook pattern. This is a classic pattern, meaning what do we expect coming out of a fry pan bottom? A strong price move. What's a prerequisite for a J-hook pattern? A strong price move. So this dramatically improves the probabilities that this whole setup is telling you there's strong bullish sentiment in this, uh, this uh, stock. Anything that we can do to read the candlestick charts to tell us what the probabilities are we saw the reversal signals down here, but this trend kicker signal was a strong indication that there was going to be more upside. As you can see, even with the market trading flat today, this trend is continuing because of this signal right here. So candlestick analysis is not just identifying price moves, it's identifying the signals or patterns that are creating the strength of those price moves. The doji sandwich has strong implications that there's gonna be more upside. We almost put this into the category of a McMuffin, our morning star signal followed by a doji sandwich or your morning sandwich McMuffin, a double whappy for telling you there's bullish confirmation. We also can identify patterns. We recommended net today because of the J-hook pattern. 
wave one, wave two, going into wave three. Where's the next likely target up here? And what enhanced our visual analysis of a J-hook pattern? Because they couldn't close it below the T-line. They did a doji bullish confirmation and trading positive. Same thing with NVAX. The T-line rule is very effective that if you see a, <coughs> excuse me, a pattern setting up, this gives you extremely good probabilities that investor sentiment is now moving in this direction. It, the T-line rule works just as effectively on the bullish side as it does the bearish side. When we recommended AZEK was because of this doji best friend gap down, covered our short position. And there's your doji best friend gap down again, creating not only the strong bearish signal, but identifying a strong bearish pattern. If this is wave one, this move is likely gonna be the same as wave uh, one or wave three being the same as wave one. The T-line rule is extremely effective. This is what allows you to sleep at night without the anxiety that all you have to do is follow the T-line rule. As long as you can't close above the T-line, your downtrend is in progress. So even in a market where you don't have any direction, utilizing candlestick signals and patterns allows you to be profitable both in long and short positions until we see a major trend movement. Now I get asked quite a bit, is there better ways to learn how to use candlestick signals and patterns? And the answer obviously is yes, our website, we have a chat room open every day. We do trainings Monday, uh, special trainings for members on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday night, our, our uh, session is open to everybody just so people can see the logic of uh, what's built into candlestick signals. On top of that, I've written three books on candlestick analysis. You want to, if you're interested in learning the meat of candlestick analysis, I would recommend this uh, high profit candlestick uh, patterns and then follow it up with candlestick profits, eliminating your emotions. These are all much cheaper than what you can buy on Amazon. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.